begin this celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Maganda umaga po sa inyo lahat. Good morning, Father. Thank you. Today we have a memorial of Saint Josephat, Bishop and Martyr, who was killed and born in Ukraine, modern Ukraine. My dear friends, he was born to a noble family. His father was a municipal councillor and his mother was a very piety one. And in 15... 83 he was born and he was tried his best to unite the church with orthodox church along his process he became bishop and eventually 12th november 1623 he was shot on his head beaten and put to death after killing him my dear friends they throw him into the river and they found his body and buried in Poland. After five years of excavation of his body, the church found out his body was incorrupted and he was elevated to be a saint. And today we also remember the Friday in which the sacred heart of Jesus may safeguard us all, keep us all protected and may Our Lady of Manawa give us our heart's desire and the intentions that we have brought in this Holy Mass. I have few intentions, my dear friends, together with all of your intentions, let us offer this Mass for Thanksgiving Mass of this Villa Roman family, Sprancia family, Tita Glenna family, Liani family, Debbie, Juliet Juanila family, Atoni Narcissio, Atoni Rosella family. And for the special intentions, Jose Marichan, Thelma Fetalvero, Juliet Mabasa, Dr. Natalia Osario family, Dr. Nena Dreas, Johnson Fernando, Maggie and Dang family, Dora In Linda and Nora Gabanilias, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Reginald Waltian. And for the healing of Dora Augustine, uh, Rafi, Jesper, and Mary and Indra and for all our intentions of healing, especially those who are sick here, are willing to pray for our families with various intentions, those who celebrate their birthdays, anniversaries, let us ask the Lord to bless all of us and to grant our intentions in this Mass. Coming together as one family, dear friends, let us call to mind our sinfulness and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled Saint Joseph up as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not to be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom All men who were by nature foolish, who were in ignorance of God, and who from the good things sin did not succeed in knowing Him who is. 
and from studying the works did not discern the artisan, but either fire, or wind, or the swift air, or the circuit of the stars, or the mighty water, or the luminaries of heaven, the governors of the world, they considered gods. Now if out of joy in their beauty there thought them gods, let them know how far more excellent is the Lord than these. For the original source of beauty fashioned them. Or if they were struck by their might and energy, let them from these things realize how much more powerful is He who made them. For from the greatness and the beauty of created things, their original author, by analogy, is sin. But yet, for this the blame is less. For thee, indeed, they have gone astray perhaps, though they seek God and wish to find Him. For they search busily among these works, but are distracted by what they see because the things seen are fair, but again, not even these are pardonable. For if they so far succeeded in knowledge, they could speculate about the world, how did they not more quickly find its Lord? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. They pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The, the heavens, heavens proclaim, proclaim the, the glory, glory of, of God. God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens, the heavens proclaim, proclaim the glory, the glory of God. Of God. Please stand. You stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, It was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting and building. On the day when Lot left Sodom, Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life, save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken 
the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there are also the vultures will gather. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please, Please be seated. Be seated for short reflection. Dear friends, it is indeed a beautiful weekend Friday that we must all be grateful to God. Bakit, because we have the gift of life to come and the Lady of Manavat had been so gracious to us. Not only to us, all those who are, you know, uh, viewing through live stream and all our relatives and friends, let us be grateful to God for all the blessings regardless of our unworthiness. Now, today to ponder in the readings, my dear friends, look at the first reading from the Book of Wisdom. It says, men are fool for those who do not believe in God, those who could not discover God in creation. We appreciate, as the word of God says, the first reading, we are so amazed of the nature. We are so amazed of what beauty the world, the creation has to present to us. Along appreciating those beauties, those panoramic views, we lost the reality of seeing who created those. It is indeed God, my dear friends. If you go back to the book of Genesis, we see God created the entire universe for you and me to enjoy and to be faithful to Him and to be obedient to Him. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve were so greedy and selfish, they lost become disobedient and we eventually had to suffer the consequence of this disobedience in this world. And that's why the Book of Wisdom literature calls us men are fool, they are telling and stupid. Because most of the time today in the Western world, even all of us don't believe in the mighty power of God unless we are being struck by sicknesses, difficulties, challenges, financial crisis. That is the time, most of the time, most of the people would tell, please pray for us. Or if there is a death, that is the time some people will look for a priest to pray over the death. That is not reality of life, my dear friends. As Jesus says today in the Gospel, on the day of the Son of Man arrivals, how it would be, you know, people were buying and selling in the time of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Right now, present Jordan. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, building and planting. But what happened on the day of Lot left Sodom and Gomorrah? This heavy sky opened up, brimstone and fire destroy the city. It's like the story of Noah. Why Noah and his family only survived? The rest of them were destroyed because there were a lot of evils in that time. They were very unfaithful. They were into flesh. They were enjoying pleasure. And God was not pleased with that, my dear friends. And exactly the same what happened to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. They were so all evil. They were Sodomites, same sex, lesbianism, and God was not pleased. Eventually, God had to destroy and teach a lesson. And that's why today Jesus quotes a beautiful proverb where the body is, they are the vulture, which is eagle, would be looking for its prey. When eagle looks from the top of the sky, he knows where the prey for its day to eat because he knows which is weak. And that's how Satan tempts us, my dear friends, as Jesus tells today. When we become weak, when we give in to you know, temptations and to the sin and to evil, 
we lose the reality of life. We would be captured by evil, satanic power. And that's why Jesus says, life is equal, given to all of us. The kingdom of God is given to all of us to enjoy to its freedom. But then Jesus says, on that day, when the judgment comes, one will be taken, one would be left. One would be privileged to enter the kingdom of heaven, one would be thrown into eternal fire. My dear friends, sometimes we see signs around us. It's already an indication that how we must live. We must repent and try to strive to live a holy, happy, you know, life that is telegang, pleasing to God. If not, my dear friends, many of us think this is the world where we should enjoy. Life is very short. It's all right. There is no tomorrow. Let us have fun. No. All those ideas just to make you satisfied and happy, to get rid of your depression and, you know, oppression. But that is not true. There is a better tomorrow in the kingdom of God. There is a better world in heaven. For that you and I need to prepare to live right now here a holy, good life. That is, once again, we should be righteous, my dear friends, in our lifestyle so that the Lord may bless and grant us that privilege when He judges to the everlasting kingdom. Please stand. At the end of time, God will send His angels to gather His chosen ones in His kingdom. As we pray for all human needs, we ask God that we may be found ready to face Him on His return as we respond, Lord, let your mercy be on us. Lord, let your mercy be on us, that the church may attract peoples and nations towards the way of salvation by the witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us that Christian believers may proclaim their faith in eternal life and realize the everlasting dimension of our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us, that we may prepare ourselves for the coming of the kingdom by constantly living in truth, honesty, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be your mercy on us, that victims of oppression and abuses may find true healing, and that they may finally attain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us, that the dead may rise to the glory of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let your mercy be on us. In a moment of silence, my dear friends, let us pray for the intentions that we hold in this Holy Mass. As in the month of November, let us also remember all the departed brethren, those who died in our families, in our circle of friends, and those who are dying right now. All of this we ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessings upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Joseph hath professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration and we with all the host of angels cry out and without end proclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the offer for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, giving you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we need this bread and drink this song, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you are again. They offer us to celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parting of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and the Bishop of this diocese all the clergies and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Lord, welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on your children gathered here right now. We pray together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, a loving husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, Saint Joseph, who have placed you throughout the ages. We may marry to be who he has to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And please stand. In the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we call God as our loving Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you will set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the Lord's peace. Peace be with you.
Please steal. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who says to us, the kingdom of God is in your midst, and he is the presence of that kingdom is right now here to entertain to us and to make us worthy of everlasting life. Happy are we who are invited to welcome our Lord Jesus. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church, and in spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of infidelities, He knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving. And in the and power, the power of, loving of loving like Jesus, like Jesus. Because, because love is the only way to holiness. holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, my time in humbly sharing, sharing my talents, my talents and in and generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will Lord always provide. provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that by reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am the steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray.
May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is being celebrated. Let us go and glorify God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. My dear friends, in this moment, let us pray for the blessing of the sick. All those of you who are sick in various ways, spiritually, mentally, physically, let us uh, intercede to our Lady of Manawa. And we remember all the family members who are left behind, who are hospitalized, that the healing touch of our Lord may be upon us all. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters here and elsewhere. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will all gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is also a moment to bless the religious articles, the rosaries, pendants, all what you have. You can hold them in your hands while we pray over them and then sprinkle holy water after the prayers. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our, our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor of the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, May these rosaries you hold, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.